Hey guys, today I thought I'd finally give you a look around the test tube, which is the cage that Sodium is currently living in. So you can see how I've got it set up for him, and also some of the changes that I made while I was on my break from making videos. So in case you're not already familiar with the test tube cage, this is it. It's one of my DIYs. It's a three level cage that I originally built as three separate individual cages stacked on top of each other. And then last summer, I believe, I converted it into a single cage that has three levels that are all accessible from each other. And if you want to know exactly how I built this cage and also how I did the conversion to make it into a single three level cage, I will link both of those videos in the description box down below. The changes I made to it in the meantime are pretty minor, which is why I didn't feel like they needed their own dedicated video. The first thing I did was I added port windows to the top and second level. Now I've added these on a couple of my different DIY enclosures and I really, really like them. And I honestly regret not putting these in the test tube when I originally built it because they make so much difference. They make it so much easier for you to actually see your pet without having to get up and get your face right into the enclosure. They do have perspex behind them. I'm not sure why every single time I show a cage with porthole windows, I always get a comment saying, aren't you worried your pet will escape out of those? Um, nope. <laughs> no, they always have either glass or perspex behind them. I chose to do perspex this time just because um, the glass there's obviously the risk of it cracking and breaking and then it's a pain to clean up whereas perspex if it cracks it's a lot safer so i thought i'd go with that just in case because we know how clumsy i am and the other change i made was adding this pvc pipe doorway onto the side of the enclosure now the reason i've done that is because of the fact that sodium is an intact male mouse it means it's not safe for him to live with other mice and because he has to live alone he does need a lot of attention from me. So normally what I do is I have him out on my desk while I'm at my computer or working or, you know, doing whatever. I have him out running around on my desk um, and he gets to spend a lot of time with me. But one issue I have is that when he gets fed up of spending time with me, he obviously has to rely on successfully communicating with me that he's fed up for me to then go and put him back. And it can be kind of difficult for him to get that message across and he gets kind of frustrated by it. So I decided if I added a door into the side of the enclosure and then pushed my desk right up to the enclosure, that would give him perfect free access to come and go whenever he wants to. So when he's fed up with me, he can just pop himself back in his enclosure. And when I'm not around, when I'm not supervising him, there's this little door on the front of it, which I can close and latch so he can't escape. It's not dangerous anyway. He can't be out on the desk unsupervised. Um, but I thought it was a nice little addition just to make his life and my life a little bit easier and a little more enjoyable when we have our social time. So those are the only two big changes I've made to the enclosure. I made those while Sodium was living in his temporary bin cage and once they were done he moved into the test tube and the footage that you're seeing on screen now is his first time exploring the enclosure. Now most of this footage is shot on the top level because being a mouse, he's a very, very curious little boy and he insists on sniffing absolutely everything. So it took him a really, really long time to get around exploring the top level. And unfortunately, because it did take him so long to get around the cage, my camera battery just could not compete. So I mainly got footage of him exploring the top level and I only got a little bit of footage of him exploring the second level and none of him exploring the third level, uh, which I'm okay with because the third level is not that interesting anyway and you will see why I say that in a moment. So let me show you what each level looks like. So we've got the top level here, which is by far my favorite. This one was the easiest to set up because it's got all the hanging space as well as the floor space. And I also added in um, some shelves and things that you may recognize that used to be in the beaker cage when Iodine lived in there. We've got the mushroom shelf and also the smaller mushroom shelves, which are attached to the door of the top level. And he also has the rainbow ladder with cloud door, which was one of my favorite things from the beaker and that now leads up into an enclosed house which I have screwed into the back wall um, so he's just got this little floating hideaway that looks super cute and before it gets mentioned yes there is a lot going on on this level there are a lot of toys and that is intentional that is how a mouse enclosure is supposed to be set up uh, this was a mistake I made very very early on when I first started keeping mice when I had zinc and I didn't set up the enclosures to be busy enough because I was used to keeping hamsters. But thanks to my lovely friends in the mouse community, I did eventually learn how to set up an enclosure. Um, and the general rule seems to be there's no such thing as too much stuff. <laughs> to get down onto the second floor of the enclosure, there's a small PVC pipe that's tucked away under this bendy bridge. And all he has to do is pop through that tube and there is a ramp below which takes him down into the second level. Now, the way that you're seeing it now on screen, this is how it looked when he first moved in because I honestly had no idea what I was going to do with this level. I was 
experimenting with it, but this is not how it looks now. I'll show you in a minute how it looks now, but this is the footage of him exploring it for the first time, so you might as well, you might as well see it how it was. This level is mainly dedicated to ramps and shelves and climbing things, uh, lots of places to hide under and lots of things to climb on. And this was basically just my solution to filling the space because this this level doesn't have any hanging space and this was my solution to that having lots of shelves in there instead just to add some more cover and some more height and as you can see in this back corner that is the little tube that leads out onto my desk so all he has to do is come across to this shelf which is very easy and then just pop through the tube and he can come and socialize with me so now let me show you what this level looks like currently it's much busier it's much better set up i'm still not completely happy with it but it, it's far better than it was originally. Um, there is bedding in here now. Oh, I, I forgot to talk about the bedding that I use. So <laughs> the bedding that I'm using on uh, all three levels is a combination of homemade shredded paper, which I have a video on. And then also I've got some wood pellets underneath for odor control. It's a combination you've seen me use in many other setups. So it's nothing new and nothing special. Um, and very budget friendly. <laughs> and finally, let's take a look at the third level. And to get to this, all Sodium has to do is once again, pop through a little PVC pipe at the back and that comes down onto this little shelf. Then there is a ramp that leads down to another shelf and one more ramp, uh, which you can't really see because it's hidden under bedding, but that leads down to the ground. Now there are no toys or anything on this level because I dedicated the entire bottom floor to being a burrowing space. There's about 30 centimeters of shredded paper down here for burrowing in. And with the exception of a few cardboard boxes that are hidden underneath the bedding and throughout the bedding, uh, there's nothing else down here. It's just bedding and some boxes and that's it. And the reason I did this is because when I had zinc, uh, he only had one of these levels. He had the top level because this was before I converted it into, three ca into a three level cage. And one of the big problems I had with him was that when I put in enough bedding for him to burrow in, he would end up also burying his toys and when he did that it made them unusable and then he'd have nothing to do and it was kind of frustrating for both of us and it was something that I wanted to solve this time around and I realized the only way I was going to be able to do that was if I had a dedicated burrowing space much like I do in my hamster enclosure. So this entire level is just for burrowing and then he's got all his toys on the top two floors. So yeah third level not super exciting well at least not for us anyway he certainly enjoys it uh, but that is pretty much what the cage looks like. It, there, there's a lot going on so it's kind of hard to go into detail without this taking forever. Now he does have water on every single level because I am a paranoid pet mum and I am terrified of the idea of him somehow getting stuck on one level and not having access to water. So he has water on every single level. Uh, he has food on the top two levels and then he also has a wheel on the top level and he has a wheel out on my desk so he doesn't have full access to the other wheel but I figure he doesn't need two wheels in there at one time. I think he can manage without it. And I think that's everything, I believe. I'm not sure if there's much else to tell you about it. Um, I may have forgotten some things, who knows? I usually forget stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what the cage looked like because I was supposed to show you this way back before I took my break and then I took my break very last minute. Uh, and that decision kind of just threw all my video plans up into the air. So I knew this was an important one to cover as soon as I came back. And I hope you guys have enjoyed taking a little look around. I'm sure I will show you more of this cage uh, in a video in the not too far future. I'm hopefully gonna be doing a vlog soon because a lot of you have been asking me to vlog again. So um, maybe you'll get to see more of it in that one. Anyway, if you enjoyed seeing it this time, if you enjoyed seeing Sodium explore it for the first time, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and all the other good stuff, the commenting and the following and... What is it we do on this website? Subscribe, that's the one. <laughs> Okay, it's been too long. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's that's the outro. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I guess I will see you guys next time. Bye!